the double lines. Oh! Oh! No! 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 Oh, fuck, open the door, open the door, open your door. We're locked in here. Holy shit. All I'm gonna say is and that at the start of the account. video, like, okay, he looks down at onto the phone. Oh. Um, uh, yeah, great that they have this footage, by the way. Good job publishing this footage. Good job. The insurance companies are gonna like that one. He's in the express. I'm like, I don't see a reason of what's happening. Like, I generally don't know why. I can see that because the double lines. Oh! I think, I generally think he sped up here. Express lane too. Like, I think he just suddenly lines. sped up. It feels like he suddenly sped up. Oh! He oh. did? No! Rear wheel drive in the rain. Yeah, I am. Bro, I am way too scared to ever drive during rain on, uh, rain on the highway, man. No! No! At least stepped on the gas. Oh, yeah, it did feel like it, man. Bro, this piece of shit, man. His friend, his face completely fucking bloody. His face is completely fucking bloodies, bloodied, and he's still like, here, film this. Take the phone, film this, bro. And then he decides to go fucking shirtless in the end. Like, why? All my money's gone. The exhaust. Uh, the whole body kit. You, maybe you shouldn't have put all the money on it. Do you think the insurance is going to cover that? I'm sure uh, State Farm yeah. or uh, Geico, they love kickstream. Oh, he got banned. They could see that. They'd be like, yeah, yeah, you were on the phone while you were driving. How fast is he? It, it said he how banned. fast he was going, right? It said 72. He going... 115 kilometers per hour. Thank you. 72 miles an hour. This should be a 50 Thank mile you, an editor. hour area at this level of rain. Yep, there it is. But uh, it's good that he's okay. Nobody Bro, else except his entire for him and his dumbass friend got hurt. He extremely lucky. Extremely, extremely lucky. Yeah, here it is. Hold the cam. Hold happened, the cam. Man. Jack Doherty oh, is one of the oh. most hated YouTubers. Speaking of, wait, isn't that him? Wait, hold up. That's him. on the entire platform and for good reason. He's unlikable, annoying, and has an extremely punchable context. face. But you would think that after receiving every warning- <gasps> No way Internet Anarchist just said that. No way he just said he has an extremely punchable face. Annoying and has an extremely punchable face. But you would think <laughs> that after receiving every warning imaginable and turning the entire internet against him, that Jack would reconsider the path of being a public nuisance for views and clout. Is this your house? Yeah. Okay, what do you want to do? We're uh, not here to play games. Flip a coin. Huh? What do you want to do? Heads we send him to jail, tail. No! Hey, he's not going to- No way. Nah, you can't Unfortunately, it would only be a matter of time before Jack's bold antics caught up with him and threatened to end his entire career. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. Hi. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be diving into the rapidly deteriorating <laughs> career of Jack Doherty. Around seven months ago, I uploaded a video discussing Jack's rise to notoriety and later infamy on YouTube. In oh, a nutshell, shit. Jack is a creator and streamer who made a name for himself by capitalizing on viral trends. <laughs> yeah, not so much anymore after you got banned on kick. Friends <laughs> and lighthearted trolling content. Yo, what is it, guys? Jack Doherty here back. Champsburger, thanks for the follow, but goddamn, he used to be a kid? He used to be a kid? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that sounds stupid. He used to be a kid doing videos? <laughs> used to film as a kid? What? Back with another video. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Um, today I'm going to be going trick-or-treating, the day after Halloween. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I got my GoPro on my head. I'm just going to tell people, <laughs> um, I'm a doctor or something for Halloween. However, as his online career progressed, okay. Jack would escalate his content. That's kind of cute, though, bro. That's kind of cute, though. Like, I would say that's kind of cute. But... He grew up into a real fucking dumbass. Tend from a few harmless pranks to extremely disorderly conduct, with stunts like him harassing Ninja on stream, getting kicked out of public spaces, and shutting off the power at Walmart. Jack wanted to what? cause as much mayhem as possible for the sake of viewership and clout. Guys, you better shut off the lights at Walmart. Panel one, panel eight. Bro, just go. 14, 16, 18. Go ahead. That means aisle 14, aisle 16. All right, do it, do it, do it. 
<laughs> Eventually, Jack's thirst for uh, no way. Tension pushed him to go beyond public misconduct, and he began harassing random people on the street during live streams. Jack's Bro, he's got a bodyguard on him. How fucking cringe. Bro's got a fucking bodyguard on him. No. No. Streams would only get more degenerate and outrageous as he frequently hosted or attended parties that featured controversial figures like Neon, The Island Boys, and Fousey Tube. We did that to make him feel big. Y'all gonna stare here and not clap for him? Y'all are all beta as f. Sheriff, hey, this guy's f***ing beta as f***. God damn it. Beta said, hey. I'm not gonna lie, opening the fucking water bottle to throw water on his face instead of just throwing the water bottle at his face is kind of beta. <laughs> that was kind of <laughs> Deserved, yes, but... Also, that was kind of a beta move. They both just suck. Yo, you're a f you're a little just, bro, just throw the fucking entire water bottle in his face, bro. Stop being such a pussy. Controversy and outrage were the cornerstones of Jack's online persona. It didn't always work in his favor. On the 7th of January 2024, Jack received a 24 hour ban on kick after he asked oh, a girl so to he expose herself on stream. Already. Even though Jack was comfortable making a fool of himself for attention, he wouldn't allow anyone else that luxury. By the 11th of January 2024, Jack would falsely copyright claim <laughs> videos from YouTube. YouTube is Mimulus and I'm Alex. With a tweet oh. reading, Hey team YouTube, Jack Doherty is abusing YouTube's copyright system oh, by claiming lovely. videos that are clearly not infringing on his rights to farm revenue. Oh, With a British loot. Of course he would. Of course he would. He's replying, he claimed mine as well. Thankfully, team YouTube would resolve the issue. Up until this point, Jack had hardly faced any repercussions for his deplorable attitude. However, all that was about to change as Jack received the most shocking reality check of his entire career. On the 21st of February 2024, a personal injury lawsuit would be filed against Jack and his bodyguard Justin Gosley. The document would allege the following. On October 28, 2023, plaintiff was attending a Halloween party at approximately 12.30am okay. on the morning okay. of October 29, 2023. Plaintiff was on the street outside the subject's premises and was talking to Doherty and Gosley. At one okay. point in the conversation, Gosley asked Doherty, what are we doing? And Doherty said, we're gonna fight. Us two versus you two. All right, go. And gestured that he and Gosley were going to fight plaintiff and plaintiff's friend. Moments later, Gosley violently punched plaintiffs in the face, sending him falling to the ground and causing serious physical injuries to his head, Ooh. face, and neck. For a bit of additional context, the incident reference was from this viral clip that Jack posted on his Twitter. Yo, chill, no, no, you no, all said no, what? Who are you talking to, dog? I'm just saying, y'all said Yo, you just walk. Then walk. Oh, who the fuck you talking to? What the fuck? After outlining the events that inspired the lawsuit, the document highlighted how Jack continued to profit off the incident and his involvement in similar confrontations. Reading, Doherty has and continues to generate income due to the many views the video has received, or to plaintiff's detriment. Doherty has a history both before and after the subject incident of filming himself harassing, assaulting, and antagonizing members of the public by having his security guard step in to intimidate and assault them if they react to Doherty's harassment. The so following links cringe. show various other altercations caused by Doherty. Why? Because you're a clown, man. This is a resort. People are trying to chill and relax. My, you know my dad owns this place, right? Yo, yes. if you stop fucking shit, you're the one that came up to me first. No, you're the clown. You didn't have to say anything. That came in. I don't want to be filmed. Okay, well, you can stop fucking your head down. Go to your room. Bro, how fucking cringe do you have to be to have your own fucking bodyguard? Like, you... Like, he knows he's being a scumbag. He fucking knows he's being a scumbag. Oh my god.
While this was the first time Jack had faced this kind of legal trouble, the same couldn't be said for his bodyguard, who had a quote, history of assault and battery. Given the severity of the incident, the lawsuit would seek relief for damages and reimbursement for legal costs. Even though the case is still in court, the outcome of this lawsuit could encourage other victims of Jack's antics to come out with their own cases. Remember, okay. Jack had spent the better part of last year terrorizing dozens of people for his streams, and any of Yikes. them could decide to take things to court. Unfortunately, legal battles Honestly, and the fact that he had the fucking car crash now? Fucking karma. Karma. Battles weren't the only thing Jack had to worry about. Around this time, a creator named Lenny Miller published a video titled I Fought Jack Doherty, in which he okay. confronted Jack over trash talking him online. You got hella trash to talk on stream, let's go. Let's go. What? Let's go. You had hella talk trash to talk on stream. Now let's go. Yeah, and no, of course he doesn't want to go because his bodyguard ain't there. So you try, you talk trash on the stream last night. Let's go. I don't care. And you think it, you think it's funny? You won't say it to my face, but you'll. What a fucking wimp, bro! And he's so short, and he's acting as if he is the biggest guy ever. But as soon as he doesn't have his bodyguard around, fucking pussy shit, man. Fucking pussy ass shit. Say it on the VOD, huh? Because I don't want to give you a clip like you're trying to do right now. What do you mean? As you'd imagine, Jack would only engage in the situation once he was a safe distance away and shielded by people around him. I literally Whoa. have boxing gloves. I, I have boxing gloves. Let's go. I'm talking to Let's go. I literally have boxing right now. What the fuck? Chill, chill, chill. Chill. But you want. Oh, bro. Like, look at this. Like, 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 look at, look at him, right? He's gonna still be behind him, like, chill. right here, right? Chill, chill, chill. Look at this one. <laughs> and instead of going in front, he's still, like, covering behind these. What a fucking coward. Chill, chill. Oh, I'm in the fucking way, I'm sorry. What the fuck? Chill, chill, Look at this. What a fucking coward. But you won't box, that's what I'm saying. Like With each passing day, yeah. more and more people were turning what against Jack, and that trend would only continue as his inner circle of friends were about to expose his darkest secrets. On the 30th of March 2024, two former friends and a former employee of Jack, Jack collaborated on a video okay. titled Jack Doherty Must Be Stopped, which was meant to highlight several concerning details Chapter about the one. kick streamer. For those of you guys that don't know, I'm Ricky, I'm Nick, I, and we I, actually I, met Jack Doherty back in 2017, right when okay. we started popping off on YouTube. He started popping at the same time. Seven we years became ago. friends. We actually filmed a decent amount of videos together and we okay. actually ended up moving in together in a house with all of us back in 2021. This is Matthew JGL. He worked with Jack Doherty from 3 million subs all the way to 10 million subs. In the video, the trio alleged that Jake utilizes substances, surrounds himself with people who hate him, and plays Okay. His profit over human connection. Jack's own brother says all the time that the only thing he thinks about is money and he says it literally to anybody new that comes into the house. He will make it known at some point. Everyone in the team would come to me on their own time and talk about how they hate it there. They hate working with Jack. They want to pick something else, but they have no other options. In addition to this, they would mention how Jack was promoting OF content to his young audience. Despite him claiming otherwise, his primary main source of income is, and how he what? gets people there is by making these hard to watch, fake little skit videos for Instagram and TikTok. And if you're above the age of 10, you know that they're clearly fake. How many puns does it take to explode the world? They, who is he even putting on that OF? What? Majority of his audience is younger kids. Just take a look at this video. These are fans coming up to him out in public. Oh my god, they're tiny children. No. Public. He also has these girls in his videos that are all signed to his agency. There it is. Okay, he has an OF agency. See, oh, goody. And he takes a majority of... Bro, he thinks he's a pimp. He thinks he's a pimp. He thinks he's the big shot. Bro, you think he's the next Johnny Sins? Oh my their god. Income and pays them a small salary, a small fraction of what they bring in. And Jack will say that these videos are geared towards older people to try and get older people with money to spend money on him and his girls. What's even more concerning were details about Jack's personal life, as his former friends claimed he used to shoplift when they lived together. And to start it off, this is something that rubbed all of us the wrong way when we all lived together, is we would go to the grocery store and uh -huh. Jack 
would literally just shoplift. He would just open a <laughs> box of food, eat it, and then what? leave the open empty box just on the shelf, on the counter for some work. Bro. These are the people that never have done the beating as a child. I'll tell you that. These are literally people that have never been beaten as a child. <laughs> oh my god. And yes, again, it's a joke. God damn it. I hate that I have to clarify it. It's a joke. I don't condone beating your children. Actually, parent your children, uh, man. Be a proper parent, man. ...to clean up, and we would sit down and try to have talks with him and be like, yo, just pay for it, bro. But whenever we talked to him, it couldn't get through to his head. He would just be like, whatever, bro. They also accused him of stealing products at the self-checkout terminal. He had like five things he was checking out. Well, it would be a whole uh -huh. full grocery cart, and he would uh -huh. only scan one of the items out of the five, and then Bruh. he'd go to the next thing, one of them, out of the five, the next thing, one of them, out of Bruh. the five, and just full-on scamming these companies. It Bro, like, if he actually didn't have the money to, like, fucking afford it, you know what? Sure, I could look past it, in a sense, right? If he actually didn't have the money. But this bitch has money. He has the money to pay for it, and yet he goes to Walmart and steals from Walmart. Even though they were criticizing Jack for his wild lifestyle and degenerate antics, his former friends still wanted to help and see him improve. To compare the two, but Jake Paul back in the day was going down a path that people could see from the outside could yes. lead to a bad outcome. And yes. Even Jake Paul recently was on the podcast with George Janko, and he pretty much said the same thing that Ricky said about Jack Doherty that Jack Doherty he's going down this path but Jack Doherty's mindset towards all of this he hears it and he just hears it all as hate not taking it as love that people want to help him by the 10th of April 2024 no, Jack would upload a rather angry response to his former friends and to deflect the criticism why you know Charlie said it pretty well like in this video like, why does he always go shirtless, bro? Like, he's got nothing to show off. I'm tired of f***ing hypocrites. Everyone that has ever- The fucking actually a milk bread buddy, man. Come after like, me, has bro, done everything nothing. I've done. Because they're fake and I cut them off months ago and now they went to trying to expose, going the route of exposing me because I won't film videos And yeah, together. that that is pretty much a douchebag haircut. Yep. Just fake they're desperate for clout and they're jealous. In between all of his swearing, Jack accused his haters of trying to be like him, but failing, and claimed he never did anything wrong. Uh -huh. There's nothing to expose. Everything I do is already out there. I'm not a bad person. If I, if I did anything wrong, I would be in trouble, but I'm not because people like to twist make it seem like what it's not because they just can't believe what I've accomplished and they just want to say everything that's not true to mm -hmm. cope with the fact that they're not at where I'm at. People try to do what you do and if they don't succeed, they, they just hate. The allegations made against Jack would only continue to increase, as another one of his former associates named Norway would accuse him of- The kick joker, the joker of all- Of housing a minor. Uh, Jack, I'm gonna tell yeah. people she was 17, uh, Jack. The, the so Sophie girl. Oh, not Sophie, Sophia. Sophia's little sister was 17. That was at the house. And then, uh, you said that they're never coming back to the house. Uh, Four days uh, later, Jack, uh, Ace invited uh, the 17-year-old and uh, her friends over to the house. And um, I also had messages of uh, Sophie messaging me, uh, Daddy, please uh, forgive me, or Daddy, please come over or something. What the fuck? Uh, but I didn't want to come over because you were 17-year-old. And, I, and, and Jack, I messaged you, I told you to kick them out, and then you didn't do shit about it because you were in Dubai. Um, but yeah. In his Twitter Bruh. community, Jack would address the situation with a tweet Bruh. that read, Can't believe Norway switched up on me that fast. I never even kicked him out. I genuinely cared about the kid and did everything for him and still would. Hope one day he realizes how good he had it and how he threw away his best friend for 15 seconds of fame. Underneath Drama Alert's coverage of the tweet, Jack would defend himself by stating, That minor he said I had out my house was invited by him. And right when I found out, she got kicked out. TF do I get out of having minors at my house? I never invite girls to my house. I have a GF. Think what you want, but I have too much to lose to do stupid stuff like that. Norway okay. wasn't the only one accusing Jack of acting inappropriately with my- I mean, that might be right. Like, he might um, be telling the truth here, you know? The other guy might just be trying to get some fame. I don't know.
It's a he said, she said for me right now. As Neon also brought up similar allegations months prior. You're a fucking joke. Let me tell you exactly what Jack does. I don't care. You want to say that? Now I'm going to violate you and expose your script. Mm -hmm. Here's what you do. I'm going to tell you exactly what you do. You get 17-year-old girls the night before their birthday. You got you buy a $10,000 yacht every time. You get them drunk and they sign a contract 50% of their life every single time. Fuck you. Stranger still, the pattern of former friends and colleagues accusing Jack No. Nah. of being too close with minors extends all the way back to December 2023, when Natalie Reynolds made similar claims in a tweet that read, Oh, by the way, the grooming thing ain't a joke, lol. This girl was 17 and Jack waited months for her birthday to get her drunk and sign a contract on a yacht. What the fuck? No. As well as, Jack Doherty has paid someone to take down and ban my Instagram account. Insecure narcissist is mad he can't make money off me anymore, and I'm realizing the truth. Stick to grooming minors. While none of these allegations have been proven or disproven, it's clear that the people close to Jack Doherty are slowly turning against him and revealing who he truly is when the cameras aren't rolling. Even State Farms, his insurance company, wants nothing to do with him. <laughs> According to a recent TMZ article, Jack attempted to use his renter's insurance to cover his ongoing lawsuit. However, State Farm claims has gone outside his coverage and is appealing to the judge to exclude them from the case. From the look of things, Jack is rapidly running out of allies, and only time will tell how many he'll have left by the time the legal battles are over. In his early days, Jack assumed harassing and taking advantage of people to promote his content was a good long-term strategy, but sadly, he couldn't have been more wrong. The fake yeah. friends and bodyguards he used to hide behind are dropping like flies, and no one in the community is willing to stand by him. Right now, good. Jack is at a crossroads in his career. Either he owns up to his Chet, he's at a crossroads. <laughs> right now, Jack is at- He's at a, at, a, at a crossroads with the car. <laughs> oh, goody. I wonder where we've seen that car the last time. The crossroads in his career. Either he owns up to his mistakes and mm. cleans up the gigantic mess he made, or mm. he remains the way he is now and continues to blame everyone but himself. With that being said, at least he's not losing as many subscribers as his self-help YouTube guru, who is currently <laughs> facing one of the largest downfalls in YouTube oh, history. I still gotta watch this to be on one. screen to find out why. Bro, insane. Honestly, fucking karma. Fucking karma that he crashed his car thankfully no one was actually hurt but fucking calmer